fifth. Youth runner here with Cecilia Kittlestrom on my left, Hannah Thompson on my right from Santa Rosa Montgomery. Hannah, 6th and 1540, Sheila, top 30 and 1638. I would say it's a pretty good night at the 43rd Woodbridge Cross Country Classic. Sheila, obviously, I'm so excited for you, so excited for, uh, for, uh, for both of you. What, what does this mean to you right now? Um, this is, I don't know, this is a good moment. It's good to be reassured that, like, working hard does actually pay off. So. We may have yeah. one or two team champions. How, uh, how do you feel, you feel like you, you built since Lowell to get ready for this moment? Um, I don't know. I think at Lowell there's just there's a lot less competition. It was uh, a lot more hilly. So I almost just feel like this is Lowell, but on a way bigger stage. I don't know. Maybe not. And, uh, uh, obviously, it, you know when 15, when fifteen twenties and thirties and forties are the are, are the are the norm. I mean, like again, it's like it shouldn't shock anybody. You know, when we have you know so many so many incredible women. Uh, but what did you feel like the vibe was like tonight in comparison to, uh, to that super fast race last year? Um, yeah, like this race is so special. Like there's no other race like it. The atmosphere is insane. Like the competition is like. They, it's not matched anywhere else so they're like nationals so yeah coming out today and like i'm really proud of how i did i think i ran a smart race and i was i don't think i could have run a lot faster like i pr on this course yeah it would have been nice to get top five but like the competition today is like insane and i think like I, i'm just gonna keep building and see where that takes me so yeah but i mean but the there's so much to be said for the consistency, right? Like when you're right, right around that, you know, that high, you know, high 30s, you know, low 40s area. Like, uh, I mean, is, is, is this you're just kind of not only because of the of the, the output, but uh, but because of just kind of the process to get there. Like, uh, you you feel reassured about you know how how you, how you put the, together the race tonight? Uh, yeah, I think I went. I think I ran a smart race. Like I went out and I just checking my watch. Like I know a lot of people are like against that, but. I wanted to make sure I didn't go out under 510 and I was like around 515 and I was like perfect, I feel good. And so then I just kept passing people, passing people. And then the last mile I just like, I was like I can catch, I, can, I try, like I almost caught Sadie and then but like, you know, Sadie, Sadie's kick is insane. So I'm just like, to be running with these girls again, it's just like so special and I'm, yeah, I'm really grateful for this experience. Awesome. See, uh, obviously the next target for the group, and we hope uh, yeah, everybody's together. Uh, I would assume will be Clovis. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so you know, just kind of again stacking one, you know, one positive week, one positive race, you know, on top of another. Like, you know, how, how much more excitement is there now uh, to be able to, uh, to look forward uh, to getting back to Woodward Park? Our top three uh, girls individuals. Yeah, there's a lot of excitement. Race. I think uh, Woodward Park is obviously like the true cross country race. Like my coach always. He always says that like this meet doesn't even count. Like obviously it counts, but like that's, oh, it that's, counts. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell uh, thousands of people tonight it doesn't count. I mean, okay, he didn't say that specifically, but I think. No, uh, I know what he means. Yeah, this yeah. helps like really build for Woodward Park, which is like the real test of your medal, basically. Absolutely. Well, both of you have all of it in spades. I uh, look forward to seeing the whole Montgomery group together. Again, uh, sixth and thirtieth, fifteen forty, sixteen thirty-eight. Hannah, Sila, great job. Thank you.